Hello, this is the login page of the Google Cloud, and we can go to console by clicking here. It will take some time. So this is the dashboard in the home page of your Google account. So let's start a new project. Uh, we, can, we don't have to wait this, so I just click on the new project. And wait for it to be that right. So we can enter our project name, which will be So uh, I will use project ID later. So I will copy it first. And let's create. So this will be your dashboard of your, um, oh wait, um, it is not. We have to switch to our project either here or by here. And we have to wait. Okay, you see the tab is our uh, created project. So now we are on our project dashboard. So uh, we can open the text editor by clicking here. This is the common line, and you can choose open editor. So now this is your instance. Yeah, so we can drop the file here. The app you want to implement. Uh, we have to uh, run the new terminal because the yeah, this is the correct lab project. Okay, so after you drag the files, uh, you have to make sure your package.json have like an uh, indicator, which where is the entry point. And this is the YAML file is necessary by the Google Cloud. Uh, you have to state what type of like, um, uh, like I'm running Node.js, I have to put it on runtime. An environment I can uh, standard is the free one, and the instance class F one is the free one. Those are provided by Google's document. There's also one thing you have to remember to set your port. Uh, have an environment variable here, uh, so Google Cloud can have their port um, bind to your app. And if you have any like. Um, fix, uh, fix um, web URL, you have to change to your uh, project ID. This is the format um, provided by Google app too, because I will be US West one, and this will be your uh, lab ID, project ID. So I'm gonna save it. So first, uh, we have to be in the same directory of your app and you have to install dependency. After finish install dependency, you can deploy on Google Cloud using the comment. So I will choose West one. Now we wait. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video here and wait. Okay, because it take a while, now it's finished. So you can see that after um, popping up this info, like deploy server default to what, 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 you can click on the link. Yeah, our deployment is success. Let me try. 
yeah, it's success. So um, we, after successfully deploy it, uh, I can use Apache to generate some traffic. Yeah, like the lab one. So now we can go back to the dashboard. And we can close the cloud shield. So now we have some um, traffic. We can go to App Engine dashboard. You can either search App Engine here or click on your um, main page. Yeah, because we just start the, uh, it will have some time to log it, log the info. So I think we have to wait. So I gonna pause the uh, pause the video again to wait for to wait for the data coming. So I can show the dashboard. Okay, now uh, around like five minutes, the data come in. Uh, you can we can see that we still at the same project. So um, the data will if you you put your cursor here, you will see the um the request per second. So this is the summary and you can filter here by request type or latency. Yeah, so it's anyway, um, you will have some detailed data, like how many percentile and you can navigate through um, memory usage, CPU usage, utilization, and any other attribute you want to monitor. So uh, there have some like billing status, uh, how many times you use and cost, and what's the current load, like which application you use. Because I, I gen use Apache to generate requests using only to the homepage. So it will have the, a, a lot of re uh, amount of requests. And here is the error rate like how many counts. And also you can find this in instance too. Uh, it's the same thing you can see from the dashboard. Um, there's, except this dashboard, they also have an API dashboard. So we can go to API overview. Yeah, it requires some time to load. So you can see your service track, uh, one hour. Well, yeah, it's still loading data. So um, yeah, this is the, if you go co closer in one hour, you will see the my traffic and my arrows and my latency. Those information you can find in the API service dashboard. So it, uh, Google Cloud Platform has two types of dashboard. And this is my demo, thank you.